Hey everyone, welcome back to Keeping Up with the Chaldeans. I'm Anthony Toma and I have Junior Binu here, my co-host, and we are uh, graced with the presence of Julia Q here today. Uh, she's a blogger, a radio personality, and a fascinating person, and she's <laughs> going to tell you why. Um, hi, I'm Julia. Um, I do a lot of blogging here in Detroit, and a lot of travel blogging, food blogging, and yeah, my fair time in the radio world, cool. and podcasting. So tell us um, about the travel and the and the uh, food blogging. Um, yeah, I lo I do a lot of travel blogging, so like hotel stays and things like that in different areas, um, restaurants, things cool. like that. Just kind of blog about it. Yeah. Yeah. So do you, are, are you paid by these people to go out and check um, out their hotels? And... Yeah, most of the time. Okay. Yeah. Um, cool. Unless it's like something. Like if I were to reach out to someone, and be like, "Hey, like, would you want to?" And mm -hmm. they'll be like, "Yeah, here's a free stay or something like that." But um, and then how do they decide whether whether they want you to do it or not? Because I know someone's not. I, I mean, if I went, said, "Hey, I just want to stay there for free," um, they wouldn't. They wouldn't. I you know I've extend only, the, uh, I've done that maybe like twice where mm -hmm. I've reached out to someone because I I hate reaching out to people because yeah. like most of the time people reach out to me because I just feel weird asking people like, "Hey, right. like, here's me. Like, who am I?" You know what I mean? But, like, I'll just be like, yeah, like, I'll, you know, blog about the place. I've done that twice for, like, two girl trips, uh -huh. like, with my girlfriends and things like that. And That's cool. It worked out really great. Like, the hotels are always really, really nice. Um, um, what are some yeah. of the coolest places that you've been? Um, like, the Grand Traverse City Resort. Oh, that yeah, one was, like, a cool one. Yeah. really nice one. Uh, last, or a few weeks ago, I went to um, the Renaissance in Toledo, the Renaissance Hotel in Toledo. They were so nice. What's that? Um, just like a. Is it a cool nice, hotel? It was actually really cool. Yeah. yeah, it was one of those hotels where it's like everything is in there and you never want to leave. Really. So like restaurant, bar, the whole thing was in there. It was like it a was resort, cool. kind of sorta, um, or no? I wouldn't say it's a resort, but it was right. just like a really because cool it is hotel. in Toledo. Yeah, I mean Toledo, <laughs> but um, yeah, I've been like to a place like in Cleveland and Chicago. I've stayed at places. Um. Yeah. What what got you into starting this all? Because obviously you've had to build a brand. It doesn't come easy. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Social media makes it so readily available for us to be able to post pics, put stuff up. And, it, you know, it can catch an eye for a moment. But to keep people continuously paying attention, you'd have to have a knack for it. What what's what was the beginning of Julia Q? So I, um, when I was 18, I started in radio. Mm -hmm. uh, I started as an intern at the Motor in the Morning show, uh, which love all the guys there today. Sure good friends and things like that um started off there and like from there I kind of like got into like doing social media for them and yeah. pictures and content and I was like this is like a lot of fun I met a lot of people celebrities and I was like I need to like I want to showcase like what I'm doing right. so it kind of started off like showcasing like all my adventures in radio like all the shows we would do all the people we've met and I guess from there I just kind of like posting I also do like a lot of like acting and commercial work mm -hmm. in the Detroit area so mm -hmm. anytime something would come up I would just like do my behind the scenes and like yeah. do videos and um, things like that and just like from there I just started going to like restaurants and I was like I want to like you know be one of those people that just um, rate restaurants and things yeah. like that so I would just start doing food blogs and just like talking about that and then it started it started picking up where like people were reaching out to me like hey like you know, you do, you work in radio, you do all this stuff. Like, we want you to come rate our place. And I was like, okay. And it just kind of, yeah. like, went and went It helps went. when you have a platform, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was it was a lot of fun. So, um, just growing. Because people are always like, how did you build? And I'm like, honestly, like, I just, and I, 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 I like lived, to say. I lived, I experienced, and I documented. And yeah, and yeah, just basically documenting. And um, also, like, I so like do to you have a li Do you have a writing background? Or did you go to school uh, for? Yeah, I went to school for, like, um for communications and journalism and things like that. Okay. So broadcasting, all that kind of played hand in hand. So I did all of that. Um, and I like to be genuine on mm -hmm. social media. Like I see a lot of like people who have like a very to a T page on Instagram. Like everything has to be color coordinated and like has to fit in this. And I'm just like, I like to have fun with it. Like, be you. yeah, I don't, I, right? I feel like I don't like to fabricate like my, sure. my page and make it look yeah. like a certain way. Cause I see a lot of, social media people doing those things. So I'm just like, I'm just going to, if something doesn't fit, I'm just going to be like, okay. You know, just for the fun of what she's saying, what I, and I like that because I, I um, 
I didn't pay attention to how many followers you may have and all that, but it's crazy what you're saying. The fabrication so easy. You got somebody who has got 20,000 followers but 150 likes on their pics, right? Yeah. So if somebody who senses that can realize that those aren't true followers that that person may have. Yeah, like right? engagement and things like that. So yes. like when I'm working, like another thing too is like when I'm working with like hotels and things like that, when mm -hmm. they reach out to me, I yes. also give them like my insights and like my numbers and everything yeah. just to be like, just so you know, like this is what you're gonna be getting mm -hmm. and like what's going on. Like I've worked with a lot of brands and companies and things like that. So like one of my, the big brands I work with is like Toyota. Yeah. Um, actually like, I'm going there this weekend uh, or with Toyota this weekend to Florida with their for their spring training. So we're just gonna be like going around Florida, different games and things yeah. like that, um, different dinners. And they're gonna showcase like what Toyota, like new cars and models and things like that. Like I did stuff with Lexus and mm -hmm. all that stuff with them. So. Is it it's like, uh, so you're a brand ambassador for them? Is that what it is? I or, mean, or? I don't think I'm an official brand ambassador, but mm -hmm. I guess like a Detroit one. Right, right. If any, if anything, but. Um, and so what's your role in the whole trip? They want us to like showcase, um, they have some new cars that are gonna be in the Florida area or mm -hmm. that they have over there. and. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be basically driving us around for like the spring training, and I guess to like Toyota's a big sponsor in the spring training in okay. Florida, so um, I guess they want to just bring That's some big. people and things like that. So I'll let you guys know how it goes this weekend. If um, yeah, plus people can goes. follow you on your on your on your page. Yeah. Do you mostly work on blogging your stuff? Like, do you use what platform is your favorite platform to work off of? Um, Instagram. Okay. I love Instagram. I Why? Think, uh, just accessibility of it yeah. is pretty easy like you can story things like I love the stories because you can just post like clips and things so you don't bombard everybody with um, with posts and videos and things sure. like that so so yeah. question for you have you ever noticed the difference between sometimes posting on your Instagram and sometimes posting on Facebook like the reaction yeah so for me my Facebook um, is my personal kind of platform like mm -hmm. that's strictly for family and friends and like mm -hmm. people I know like mm -hmm. co-workers friends like acquaintances like that's strictly for myself so mm -hmm. on Facebook it's literally like you know the Chaldean ants and all my family and relatives like go oh, Julia like that mm -hmm. writing in Arabic that I'm just like cool I don't know what <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know what that means well, you but can translate it I see all the emojis and all the like pictures and things like that so um and then like Instagram is like where my like Your public so like I will it. like I will I will rarely post anything about family on my Instagram really? um, once in a while I'll post like my little sister um, she's sure. got Down syndrome so like I was if we do something fun or something I'll post her on there but I don't like to put like what them. are some of those cool things that you guys do together uh, she loves to sing and dance oh, yeah? and act so she always says she's gonna be famous before me and she's gonna go to <laughs> California before me her name's That's Dominique right. That's awesome. Nice. Or Didi for short. Um, Didi Q. Yeah. Shout so out she, to Didi. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Didi. Um, she's 23 and she's just a ball of energy. She's so much fun and always just happy. And, Do you have know. other brothers and sisters? No. Just you, you and yeah, her, huh? Just me and her. So. Um, that, that, that's great though. It seems like you guys feed off each other. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So like I always say like I, I want her to be more like with me on like my social stuff. but. Sure. At the same time, I don't want to, like, force her to do something. Of course. So, once in a while, like, I, I think, like, the idea that I have with her right now is, like, I don't know if you guys, like, know about TikTok. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, she, Scary like... Scary to me. It, mm -hmm. it, it's, yeah, it's, it's bizarre. It's, like, a lot of, like, younger people. But she's been, like, dancing and doing things. That she, and she's, like, I want to be on TikTok. I'm, like, okay, I can make mm -hmm. you a TikTok if you want. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know what she'll, what she'll want to do on there, but... Um, yeah. She's going to be singing and dancing. Yeah. The two things she loves yeah, to there do. You go. Right? Yeah, yeah so. which is big for that. So, Julia, like, when you when you say back to um, the, when you take a look at, like, your insights and stuff like that, when people take note to coming to you and wanting to do business, so to explain the viewers' analytics and insight, what a difference it makes and understanding impressions and all that. Yeah, so um, impressions, like, an insight. So, like, um, it goes by, like, the thousands. So, like, I'll get to, like, 50, 60,000 insights and things like that, like, on my page. So that just, it's, like, views that come to your page. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, right now, my, my account got hacked recently. Oh, sure. So, yeah, it's been, it's been... What happens in that case? Yeah. I honestly, like, Instagram has been no help, and I'm, like, kind of... I've heard that from quite a few people. It's hell this to get never, a hold of them. This has never happened to me. So, like, it got a few days, like, last week, it said that there was, like, a hack 
or I got an email saying that someone in Ohio was trying to like log in to my account and <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. And then they said you were me, the, while you were there. No, or, I no. actually I went to Ohio a few no, days ago, but this was like uh-uh. five days before I went. Okay. Um, they, knew, and, they knew you were coming. Yeah, right. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. Um, and then I went to my Instagram and it's not letting me like like or comment or do anything. And I'm like, oh, this is definitely hitting on my engagements and things like that. But uh, it says that the lift will be done tomorrow, which I'm hoping it'll be done. So I can view stories and things like it that. But yeah, sucks, so though. sorry if anyone's like reaching out to me right now because I can't do anything. Well, it, it sucks because it pauses your career it, it, for a moment. I'm and, telling and you guys. This like, isn't going to air for a while, so they're going to be like, what's this girl talking about? Yeah, well, <laughs> I hope it's going to be back by then. But, right, uh, right. To what you're saying, here's the thing. It's like <clears throat> 24 to 48 hours off of social media in your kind of business is almost like a week to a month of being off of yeah, it to people. No, like, it really, they're quick to flip, it, it you know? It really is. Like, it's been a week. So the thing says it's going to end tomorrow, the ban or the action block or whatever, mm-hmm. um, which I'm like, praying that it does because i have yeah. my stuff this weekend that i have to do yep. oh, and shit. it really does it like i'm like oh my god like this is like my this is literally my business and instagram's not helping like it's i'm a damn I'm coronavirus like, got, got, got you got, prob, prob, <laughs> got her got my account so um yeah what what we'll do, do you have backup pages as well too just in case of the event oh, um like that? for myself no i have like our podcast that two of my friends and i do the green light podcast okay. um, talk about that yeah yeah, it's like two of my good friends, Anthony, who goes by Dinero, and my friend Blair. We have a podcast. We talk about just like everything mm-hmm. uh, and anything. We've all been kind of busy because I've been busy like traveling. Um, Anthony's been working with Sirius XM, and Blair just got engaged. So we've all been like. Nice. What are like, some of the topics you guys discuss? And I know you said anything and everything. We, yeah, but. we talk. So, like, we're all foreign. So, Anthony and I are Middle Eastern, um, and Blair's Albanian. So, we talk about like foreign problems, like <laughs> with our families. Um, <laughs> Like, Blair and I are both in, well, she just got engaged. We're in relationships, and Anthony's a single one, so he'll, like, tell us, like, all his, you know, single guy life stories and things like that. But um, And are you with a a Middle Eastern boyfriend? I am. Okay. Brandon. Uh, But he's, he was actually, he was born in Iraq, and he moved here when he was one. So he's literally no accent, nothing. He's very Americanized. But he so. could do an accent if you ask him to. Oh, right? for sure, okay, yeah. Good. Yeah, we both, yeah, we can both pull on that Middle Eastern accent. And, a, and, a and so you speak Arabic, you said, huh? Yeah, I That's speak cool. and understand it. Uh, however, Cal- I'm Chaldean, and I, I don't know any Chaldean. Uh-huh. Uh, but yeah. And it's, it's happened that way. You know, as we realize more and more of these videos that we're doing, these episodes that we're doing, there was a lot of Chaldean families that were born deep into neighbors being um, Arabic. Yeah. So you you had in order for you to work with one another, you had to learn that language. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then they come here, and then you get you get the script flipped. You're now learning Sudeth here. You know, for for the old generation, they're learning Sudeth as they're coming here because yeah. now they got to interact. Now with they the, do. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, I guess it's also like the villages and things like that. Like back back then, where they grew up. Like my dad yeah. came here when he was like four. four. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so he grew up Did he here. Come alone. He- Travel he for like um, four years old alone. No, no, he came with his his mom and his uh, sister. They oh, nice. came here, uh, but his oldest brother, actually, my uncle Harry, um, came here in the fifties. He came wow. like really early. He like right off. Your uncle? My, his old, my dad's oldest brother. Oh no shit. Yeah, he came here in like the fifties. So wow. he like came here, got married to an American woman, had like five kids, mm-hmm. and um, so he was like the first one to kind of bring them all over here gotcha and so um yeah it it's 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 so, it's so interesting to me like their stories like i always tell my parents like they need to write these things down in books because like, i know it's so their crazy. stories are just so insane of like them coming over here from iraq like mm-hmm. it's just it's so interesting to me and like my mom literally had to like escape iraq when she was like 17 and then mm-hmm. she moved to london with her two brothers lived there for a few years and then came here when she was like older 25. or younger brothers her two older brothers. Older brothers, okay. Yeah. So they had to get out or else yeah, they were going yeah, yeah. to the army and yeah, all that yeah. good stuff. And, like, my mom was, like, working with, like, a tech company in Iraq or something. And, like, I guess, like, Saddam Hussein's people, like, heard of this. It's just, like, a, it's like a whole, yeah, it's, you it's, know what I mean? It's made for like, movies. Like, it's they made, are. Yeah. They really are. And yeah. it's, like, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, so, it could um, be. Like, there's a lot of, lot of crazy stories. But, yeah, like, the villages, like, that they grew up in. Baghdad, my dad said they all spoke Chaldean. Mm-hmm. And then my mom grew up in Tinsuke. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, 
and then my mom's village was all Arabic. So mm-hmm. when they like first met, he was the one that didn't know much Arabic, and she didn't know Chaldean. So oh, they, boy. <laughs> which is like literally my boyfriend and I. He like speaks Chaldean, doesn't know any Arabic, and I'm okay. the one that's like I don't know any Chaldean. Right. Well, good thing you guys know a little bit of English too. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> that's, that's how we were raised up too. But the first two languages that I learned were Sudeth and Arabi. Then I went to English when I got to school. I was oh, born okay. here, but it was. Oh wow. We, okay. Yep, we, we flipped it that way, so we got to get that because we didn't get to school till six years old. Right. And the most you absorb in is within exactly. your first six years of life. So yeah, I was yeah. grandmother speaking Sudeth with yep, grandma. Yep. And yep. That's Even my mom never really spoke. And then words. growing up, yeah. like when when our you know my dad was the oldest boy in the family so everyone that came over worked for us in his store and so I was doing the bottles or whatever I was doing and they didn't speak English so I had to speak Surath with them and that's how I prolonged that's that's how I kept it because I knew it but then you know if you don't use it for a while you you lose it it, right yeah Yeah. yep and that's what happens like I what does Brandon do uh he is an engineer oh cool yeah Nice. He's got a big boy job. Yeah, right. (laughs) You were you were mentioning earlier. You were um, like pre-taping. We were talking about um, having having you get a little bit of uh, push to get your Chaldean influence going on the blogs and stuff that you do. Yeah. We I have a good idea that where you could start with and it could help you accelerate and also give you a history and lesson. So inside of Shenandoah, there's the Chaldean Culture Center in there. There's already been a couple articles written up on um, Click on Detroit had done one. We had done an interview, and others have done it too. If you go there, there's um, a lady by the name of Mary Ramaya who would be glad to help you with some of that stuff. And if you really wanted to know your roots of, of our culture, that's a great place to start right there first. Mm-hmm. Show show that off because it's a, if you walk in there, you, like if, if you want to get a pre-understanding, go to one of our episodes and you'll see that on there and you get a feel for, for what it is. Yeah. And then from there, branch off because we have a lot, a lot of Chaldean culture on the east side. Everything from 15 Ryan, 16 Ryan and those areas. Yeah, the east side. Yep. I mean, listen, they're deeply rooted with our yeah. community. And if... um. If you really wanted to know what the culture was like and continuously going on, that's where you would find it. So we would say on our side of town, try to hit the culture center first and then get there and then learn more about our people and and understand it. Because you're into food and trust me, they have like the food that's on that side of town, hands down, it's some of the best that that I've ever had. Do do your parents, uh, did you grow up on Kelly and food? I I did. Okay. Uh, my parents are gonna hate me if I say this, but like I like, I'm not a fan of like pacha or dolma. Oh, we're gonna oh, start a song. Well, we just so you know, we have a song. We have a song called "Hey, we, we want, want some pacha." Oh my god, no! So it'll be coming out soon. I, you guys, I the number one thing in life that I hate the most is pacha. Really? I, You're talking about I, the skin or just eating the inside? Like I you won't eat the really, rice and the. I can't. So what about like dolma or or grape leaves? You know what, dolma? I've recently just started like. Really? really? Yeah, like girl, I my mom makes so a what really are your good. Foods yeah, as a my food. mom will make a really good vegetarian dolma that okay. I really like. Okay. Um, I'm not a vegetarian, but I, I don't know. Like growing up, dolma just like wasn't. Eat dolma either, there, huh? So yeah, what did you eat? But uh, growing <laughs> chicken tenders and uh, that's not pizza. Kelly food. I know. Um, I like <laughs> I like falafel and I like cream chop mm-hmm. and like tabbouleh and patouche and oh yeah, those are probably like my favorite things. But like I just like pacha. I oh like. Kapahamut. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love. Oh, oh, oh. How about Kadi and Timman? Or, yeah, or, or, I mean that stuff's like. Bamya yeah, or, I like all that. Stuff. Yeah, all that. Okay. Like yeah, that. those are staples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying too. We got. Yeah, yeah. Because that's supposed to be a foodie, right? You're, yeah, you yeah. yeah. I stuff. love, I love those things. But pacha, I just, and like for people who don't know what pacha is, uh, <laughs> it's it's literally like a, a sheep's intestine. Beef tripe. Oh God, I. <laughs> it's, it's like it's the stomach of also, a cow wrapped. Also, yeah. like you know how it looks like. I have a fear of like tiny little holes. Yeah, it's, yeah, it it's, has like those. <laughs> you know ridges. what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I yeah. Just, it bo- have you seen it? Like, I, it's just like. It's, it's weird. <laughs> we're, we're gonna we're gonna we're, we're gonna bring some in for you. Yeah, Mark. we're gonna bring some in. Put, like, exactly a picture, for our like, right, love put it. like a picture like right here next he, to me. And, yeah, like, he's a vegetarian. Oh, you are good for you. <laughs> yeah, I tried and. I would try to be again. He was vegetarian for four years. Really? Four years. Yeah. I'm trying to do it for Lent right now. No it's meat. Tough. It's tough. It's yeah, tough it's really tough. Protein, you got to figure out, and and, and the dynamics yeah. that like, so at my age, ten years ago, doing it like, 
it was hell, like trying to figure out what. Hold on, I'm a grown man, and like, how do I, how eat? Do I eat now? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's definitely. But you got to remember too, like us as Chaldeans, we're big time into food. You know, that's yeah. a big, big thing about that, and it's it's um, it's 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 instilled in us, right? We we always yeah. like good food. Like we're just um, if you're gonna blog about somebody on food, I recommend um, there's a gentleman at in White Lake. Um, he's a Chirac, and he's supposed to be the the gyro king. Ooh, is it like one of those rotating gyro? Yes. Okay, that's and the he's, truth. That's the... l- listen, if you if if you've seen this guy just slice it, it enticed you to want to hurry up and get over there. Yeah. He's got a machine that's just cutting down these pieces. But Gyro's again, good. like I I I posted it on our Chaldean group page for keeping up with the Chaldeans, yeah. and man, it just it took off. But Check him out. If you're gonna if you're gonna write about somebody, you know, because he was just on WXYZ, so really? they, they gave yeah, yeah, let him know. I'll come by. Yep, yep, yep. They, yeah. What are some of your like top five restaurants in the area? Oh, I can't throw people under the bus. Uh, in the area, no, like no, what no, area? Like mean, Detroit. Yeah, Detroit. Yeah, the Metro Detroit. Like, some of your fa- some of your favorite. No, I'm not I mean, asking like, you which were the shittiest. No, no, no. Yeah, um, <laughs> some of my favorites. Um, I love like Grey Ghost. Um, Grey Ghost. She Wolf is really good. I love Park. In Detroit, mm. like this, I'm thinking of Detroit yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. Um, I like Prime and Proper. Prime okay. and Proper. Can yeah. Talk. Um, <laughs> like East Side, like Eddie V's, I really like. Yeah. yeah. I've done stuff with them. I like love their food. Um, How about Eddie's Gourmet in Southfield? I'm gonna be honest with you, I've never been. Oh, you, you should have, check it yeah, out. Yeah, you should. But it's That's gotta a cool be a day too. that you're ready to take yourself to nap after. And now because, they have liquor. Yeah. They yeah. do. They, they yes, they what, do. What else is there? Um, I like Zhao June. That's over. Oh, yeah. yeah. Really good. We had an um, event there. Yeah. Really good. Pow is really good. Um, yeah. All yeah. friends and affiliates of ours. Yeah, that, I know, that, that, I know that them. That, yeah. That you're mentioning of all these restaurants. That, yeah. That three Chaldean owned yeah, yeah, restaurants. Yeah, I know. I know yeah, so all those cool. guys. Yep. So, really nice guys. Um, but yeah, it's. So, so what, do, what do you eat at these places when you go? Like, what's like your. Since you're not. Um, Pacha lover. <laughs> so, like, what would you like? For example, oh, like in Birmingham, I work with um, like Flemings. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love Flemings. Mm-hmm. Um, they will have, they'll either say like, oh, like you pick what you want, or they have like with Flemings, for example, they have like a chef's table uh-huh. where the chef, her name is Devin. She's so sweet. They I don't come get up in with there like a much. menu. I, yeah, and, and I always forget to go, but I always love it when I go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they. Something Their like steak. Yeah, yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Like so something like with them, they have like a chef table. So she'll like make a whole menu. So they'll be like, Can you just try out the menu every month? I'm like, Yeah. And so Sure. Yeah, why not? Yeah. <laughs> and I'll be honest with you guys, like if I don't like something, I'm not gonna post it. Like right. I'll be honest. Like if I try a dish, like if I take pictures of it, I just won't post that picture. Mm-hmm. Um but like everything that I try so and you're I like do a positive. Like, you're not you're not like a critic, you're a Food, yeah, like yeah. I'm not gonna like bash someone. Like if right, someone right. like invites me to have like dinner, I'll if I don't like the food, I'll be like, I'll tell them. I'll be like, you know, like wasn't. Could yeah. I I didn't really like this dish, but this was really good. Right, right. Because there's always something. I've never had like an awful experience. Mm-hmm. Sure. To like a place that I've been invited to, <clears throat> but yeah, sure. I've been to like places where I wasn't invited. I just like show up and like mm-hmm. okay, this is not good. I'm never gonna post this, but. Um, yeah, but you're only yeah. being fair at the end of the day. Yeah. Because you're telling them, you know what I'm saying, like. Yeah, because like you want my honest opinion, I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, of you, course. Like, Constructive yeah. criticism, yeah. right? You yeah. have to. Like I've seen people who um, will do like food blogs and things like that, and like I wouldn't necessarily say like they're they're like a sellout, but like I've seen some food pages where they just like if you pay me, I'll go eat your food. But I'm right, like, right, right. I'm like, what? You're not really differentiating different. from what? Yeah, you, yeah. You're, you're not telling me like if it's good or not. You're just posting the food, like. Yeah, like you know your I mean? your mom didn't shut down her cooking career just because you didn't like her pacha. <laughs> She's still cooking. <laughs> Gosh, she she actually doesn't like it either. So oh jeez. Yeah, I'm so, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that's where I get it. My dad, my we poor found dad. Problem. My it's dad is like, I love Padre. Oh, yeah. We never eat it. We never make yeah, it. Yes, eat like, it. Oh man, I'm sorry. He could go to uh to uh Sahara and Well, Brandon's family, my boyfriend, his family makes it all the time. So okay. my dad's okay. like, Perfect. yes, like and when yeah. they met that he like had food and stuff with them, he was like so excited. <laughs> I love like, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> the way to win the heart, right? He's like food. Julia, don't you fuck this up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So So yeah. we've talked about the food side of it. What's some of the places you've traveled that you've blogged on excuse me, that you've blogged on? Has it been all um, within the States or have you done international traveling in Berlin um, as well? International. Well, I'm I'm going to London in a few weeks for the family for the like our family trip. Um, mm-hmm. I wouldn't say that it was like a sponsored thing with by anyone. Yeah. It's just like me going. Yeah. 
but yeah, I've been like outside of the country and I've blogged outside of the country. I hope like at to some point like I can work with other companies and things like that outside mm-hmm. of the outside of the states. Yeah. Cause I think that'd be really cool, but maybe like I've been to Greece, I've been to like parts of Europe, Mexico's or Mexico's Mexico, much of Mexico, much mm-hmm. of Mexico, there. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and so London, I'm really excited. I'm a huge like Beatles, Harry Potter fan, yeah. so I know all the history is like all over there. And yeah. have you been to the Vegas Beatles? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, have you jumped on with any of the other bloggers? There is a Chaldean young lady who does this too, as well. Like, um, she's strictly for traveling, though. Who they they put a group of women together and do a lot of the stuff in. Really? Have you ever heard of Dame Traveler? No. Yep. Um, so so Nastasia. I, mean, I would love to. Like, yeah. <laughs> I love I love meeting. Collab. Yep. People yep. And... Nastasia, she does it. Um, she does it for a living. She's actually made a lot of headway where they've given her a lot she of exposure. Me? Um, yeah, yeah, they've had her on the Chaldean News. Oh, cool. uh, they, they had posted on the front cover, I believe, it was a f- three, maybe three or four issues ago, but they had her on there, and she's big on that too. Yeah, she's got over five hundred thousand followers. That, that really, yeah, that, that, and she's from here. Yeah, yep, really? yep, yep. So check her out. Okay. Um, she's somebody too. We we recommended. I actually recommended to her over at the um, at the news, and then they ended up picking up the article for her. Oh, that's um, awesome. Yeah, I've known her for a few years, so. She's uh she's pretty solid with with what she does too and, and does a lot of that. So look up Dame Traveler. They're recognized and there are a bunch of women that do the blogging for traveling as well. So it's too. multiple women that do it. Yep, she okay. handles it all. She started the stuff, so she does a lot of that. Okay. She travels all over too. So if you look her up, you'll you'll yeah, you'll, yeah. I'll definitely. Yep, you'll definitely be able to get to. That's see like what. one of the things that I love about like blogging is like I've met so many people and like. You, it's so funny because like you'll make friends like online, right. yeah. and then you meet them in person. And you're just like, oh my god, like where have you been? And it's 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 a lot of fun. It's well, like a fun. You become little... you become the trusted go to person, right? And not everybody oh. wants to look at Yelp and 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 just you know what I'm saying. Go to this one single well, platform. Negative Yelpers on there. Yeah, negative. that's <laughs> well, <clears throat> they they you know what I'm saying. It's some of it's far fetched too. You know, you're kind of giving some people a little too much voice. You, well, it's, it's, it, it, well the, I've seen like negative stuff on Instagram too, like reviews sure, and yeah, things yeah. like sure, that. Sure. They'll be like, "This was the worst." Like I've seen some food but Yelp, people. Holy cow! Yeah, it's just like I'm not trying to put down like that's right. someone's business. No. Like it's yeah. not like it's like a chain or something. Like they'll put down like literally like locally owned places, and they, I'm just like, "What's yeah, the why point?" Do you do that? Like that's like, their, it could have you been, might have it, one it bad experience. Could have been, yeah, it could have just been that one day the guy, yeah, the guy heard his mom had cancer or something like that and he just was down on it he was down. No, no, he had a no. shitty yeah, day like, or there was an emergency and the real chef left and it just happens and yeah. then yeah. you're gonna make it live online forever yeah right. and not just that you right. the most of the people aren't even given second chances when they're right. Right. Yeah. just going that yeah. one right. time yep. you know I, I believe in the two-time theory you know what i'm I saying too. yeah because yeah. even your first experience being great can be shitty second time around. Yeah, let's right. be real you know it can flip the other way around like i always say like if you, my first job ever was an um was waitressing from mm-hmm. 15 to 18. I waitress. Where? It's not. It was like a. One of those just. One of those, yeah, right, for right. three years. <laughs> so, I like you. Ha- I always say like if you've never been a waitress, like you don't understand like what they, what they go through, and like right, people can sure. be so so rude, and like it's so funny because like. One of my best friends, like her brother, just opened up a restaurant on the east side. It's mm-hmm. called Naked Burger. Um, and my two friends and I have been like helping out over there. And like, this is the first time I like. He's like, what's the we menu? Just... I know, obviously a burger, but what? Why? Yeah, naked it's like burger? gourmet burgers and like oh, cool. um, things like that. So it's it's actually like really good. Like I've known their family for years, and like he's always been cooking, and so he brought this menu and like. What, finally what's his name? They're Macedonian. Okay. So it's a Macedonian and Chaldean owned. So there's two partners. Oh, cool. So, um, okay, it where's home. it located? It's on the east side. It's kind of near Partridge Creek Mall. Okay. So, um, like the Gar- 19th mm-hmm. and Garfield. Mm. But, um, really good stuff. So, like, my three, like, two of my friends and I, it's literally like all of our friends helping out at this place because he's like, we just like so need cool. some help. It's so, <laughs> it's, it's so much fun. Like, yeah. we just have been having a blast. Yeah, like, and, a like, bunch of cool hip people converging yeah, on one yeah. place. And, and so, like, I'm telling you, I've been waitress since I was like 18, and I'm 26. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, yeah, like definitely I'll help you guys out. Like they're like family, you know what yeah. I mean? So my first day, Did I was take like, Didi over there. I haven't. Uh-oh. I should though. She loves burgers. There she's, you go. She loves. She's a, a bigger foodie than I am. <laughs> no shit. Um, but like we've been helping out, and like the first day on the job, like I was like, I was, my friends and I were talking. I was like, I forgot how like 
some people can be like some people ninety percent of the time everyone's so nice and yeah. happy, but you'll always get like that one person sure. that's just like having a bad day, and I'm like, dude, yeah. like it's opening day, like I'm having a blast, like right, it's right. so much fun. I'm helping them out like whenever I can, and and just like this lady came in and just had such an attitude, and I'm like. Why? Why? Like, maybe you're having a bad day. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Like, just don't go, go like on this. Po- you go like this to that. Yeah, seriously. I'm like, just don't go or on. Or you serve her some pacha. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's all pacha. you got to do. But here you go. I didn't mean to, you know, we're out of burgers. Here's a pacha. Here's a pacha instead. But, um, okay, bye. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's it's just like, don't go out. Yeah, yeah. In stay public. home. Stay home for a little bit. Know, like, yeah. it's, it I'll go to the drive through or something. Go to a drive through Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're hungry. Holes got to eat, too. Or like, one guy came in and was like mad because it was like a modern looking, like, food place and yeah. I guess he was thinking it was going to be like a McDonald's or yeah. something and I was like he's like these fries are too fancy and I'm like okay like that's the whole point that's the point. I don't know what to tell you like well, and it, they were seasoned I guess that's, and they say the, the the description on the menu is fancy fries <laughs> these are too fancy I, I don't know man some that's people crazy. are just I gotta check this place out I, I know just from what she's yeah, saying right now it's, it's pretty good like, pretty awesome I pass through that t- side of town often yeah come by let me know if yeah, definitely, definitely. You guys? So, so you've gone through the blogging, you've done traveling as well too. What's the future of Julia Q? Like, where do we see you in the um, in, in the world of blogging? I do want to do more stuff like locally, like with my community and things like mm-hmm. that. I've worked with. Have you heard of the Shlama Foundation? Of course. Yeah, yeah right. I've worked with them before, and the nicest people, and They're I love awesome, their yeah. I mm-hmm. love their message, and I kind of just want to do more stuff like yeah. that. Um, it's like, why not? Like, if I have this, like sort of platform like mm-hmm. why not showcase our culture and do more sure. things with our culture um because a lot i'm telling you like i've traveled a lot of places and nobody knows what a chaldean is sure well we so, have to get you keeping up with the chaldeans uh, uh t-shirts yeah. so you can t-shirts, wear, them, yeah. wear yeah. them on the road or like when i'm traveling like flight people will be like the agents i think they're like what's your last name like what what is that and i'm like it's chaldean and they're like what what what's <laughs> chaldean I, and the best way i describe it i'm like a middle eastern Catholic, Catholic person yeah mm-hmm. so that's the best way to describe it you know I always had this like dream of like me being on Jimmy Fallon one day if like my acting ever takes off yeah. or whatever <laughs> and he's just like so like what's a Chaldean I'm yeah. like well <laughs> yeah. but, let me tell you Jimmy <laughs> let me tell you well if you ever want to have so. fun just for the for the sake of you're welcome to ever piggyback off of what we do because we're we're very in depth with the Chaldean community. Yeah. Based on the show that we're doing. Yeah. So you may be able to tap into some of the stuff and learn off of our own and blog on that if you yeah. ever thought about. You know what I'm saying? It's a good start because what we're doing is the reason we created was so we can showcase all the Chaldeans that are coming up different avenues than what we grew up yeah. on. Diversity. I love that. Yeah. And yeah. What we do and how yep. we're doing it. And, like, and, and your two. story is a very diverse one too. Okay. It's very, very cool. Yep. And two of my cousins were on here. So yep. I thought that was cool. Yeah. You, know, you want to shout those guys out? My cousins, Wild and Nebras. Hi. The bull. Yeah. Yep. The bull. So, he does amazing stuff too. He does. Himself, yeah, he that really gym does. That he's got helps he out does. people. So you talked about documenting some of these things. So Nebras claims that his dad had kept a journal of some old writings and he actually did the writings himself the dad yeah I, and he yeah. wants to be tra- he wants somebody to help him translate it do you to know anything english. about that yeah to english right yeah yeah i remember him talking about that i think he has like some tapes too that right he right. wants to like do um you gotta sweet. figure out a way yeah. to get those out to well, the public yeah you guys have to do it at your age for for what we set a different precedent for Chaldeans when we first came. Even when they first came here, and what we grew up, our first generation. It's now up to your generation to, to kind of keep it. You got to keep it going, yeah. but mm-hmm. you you got to link up with the old timers to get with. You know what I'm saying? Because what happens is like I, I was talking to my brother on the way here, and I and we're talking about somebody like Majid Kaka. We love him. Yeah. But the youth is different to that right now because they're not accepting to the music like we were back then, right? Yeah. So it's like you you got to let them realize what their history was and where we came from and what it is. And by you blogging, you have that right power. Well, yeah. you got you got power in your hand because you got listeners. Yeah. Right, yeah. so that means your your stuff is a voice for our community, and we want you to tap yeah, into that's... that. Bring it back around. Julia Q, save our Keldian culture. Yeah, 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 save yeah, yeah, the yeah. culture. I guess like one piece of advice that I would say is like, what I've been doing is like with my family, like my parents and stuff. Like on my dad's side, we have like a family tree, mm-hmm. and every year, like we have like we always get together and like we have a big gathering. We kind of just take a look at our family tree and just continue to write into it. So I guess like awesome. just like preserve 
like stories like if yeah. your parents or your family tell you a story just like write it down put it yeah. somewhere I bought this book for my parents to like write all their stuff in and mm-hmm. I, I love it just like they write all these like things that I never knew and like I was doing that with my grandma and she passed away last mm-hmm. March and sorry to hear that it's okay um, but soul. like I like with her she her and I our only form of communication was Arabic mm-hmm. so she didn't she could understand like a little bit of English but like yeah. Her, like, last few days, I remember, like, just sitting by her in the hospital bed, like, talking to her and, like, just, and she's like, been here for, like, 100 years, right? And just de- she, decided never to pick up the yeah, English yeah. language. She, 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 she came in, like, it. early 90s. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, uh, just, like, I would always, like, write down stories that she would tell us or, like, continue those stories. And just, like, like you know, like, all the stories of, like, our families from coming yeah. over from the Middle East are oh, just yeah. so crazy. Like, Huge. my grandma, like, her and her husband and, like, their kids, like, their house got bombed by, like, Saddam's people while they were yeah. in it. Like, right, it's right, just, right. like, like there's so many stories, and I, like, always, like, want to keep those and write those down yeah. just to remember and sure. well, share I mean, with my kids, yeah. like, in the future one day. Well, you know? I mean, we have the ability to, to to just fire up a phone, videotape, and just sit down and, t- and talk yeah. to our elders. Yeah, like, yeah, just, yeah. Just think of ten questions that you want to ask them and, 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 or just ask them to tell you a story. Yeah. yeah. And just turn on your phones and... and, yeah. and it's so easy and nowadays. Yeah. So, um... Yeah. And you don't have to translate it. You don't have to translate it. Just document it, you know? Yeah. Or videos. Like, my friends always make fun of me, but I am that person. I guess maybe it is, like, because I do social media. But, like, I am that person in every situation. I'm like, guys, let's take a picture. Let's take a video. Yeah. I Like, I, I am the only one in my friend groups, all my friend groups. I'm like, let's do this. Let's yeah, take yeah. a picture. Let's do a video. Well, that's I cool. Like to they're going to thank you later. Yeah. Right? They, thank you. Like, yeah, yeah. from years like, ago. You're annoying, but now they're yeah, going to thank like, you. Yeah. Like, during my radio days, like, when I was, all my groups of friends, like, we have a group chat. It's, like, ten of us. I'm always, like, sending old videos, and they're like, how did you have this? Yeah, and I'm like, yeah. do you remember when you made fun of me? Because right, I right. was documenting. Now. So just, like, document. Like, like me now. Document everything. Why so not? So you do offer a, a service, uh, social media management? Is that yeah, what you call Yeah, so it, um, I help out with, like, companies and things like that. So, like, brands that I've worked with, I do, mm-hmm. like, a lot of content. And so um, social media, content, um, consulting. I've helped people, like, gain things and like what to do how to like gain their following and do things like that and if someone wants to kind of look at your work or look you up where do they go and what are they uh my website is the process uh, started yeah so my website's the juliaq.com uh my emails everything's on there or my instagram Mm -hmm. um at juliaq underscore underscore um you can email me message me um and say what Hey, hey, like, I need you. I need help yeah yeah. (laughs) i need help i need help with my social media yeah uh, okay i don't like to kind of like broadcast that that i do all that stuff okay, it's just sorry, kind of like edit that no 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 no, no, it's, <laughs> no 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 it's fine like Kidding. if people like ask me or like i'll mention it like when i meet people right. because like i don't like them to like just assume like hey I don't know. them off yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so like, i like to meet the Fair people enough. and i give them my card and like hey this is what i do like right, right. so if you know. need more things like let me know i don't want to make that my soul like yeah, yeah i'm a business like i see people who put like analytics on their page and post like i don't want to put that on my feed mm-hmm. or anything like that so it's just more like you're helpful yeah gotcha yeah, that's good it. for you <laughs> and if anyone needs a waitress yeah no. <laughs> no i'm waitress. telling you like i didn't expect it because like when i was younger i hated it uh-huh. but like my friends and i we've been helping out the last like few days so like he's like whenever you guys like oh this is it's just open he just opened yeah he just opened on on wednesday last week i should pay attention when people talk no no no. (laughs) i I don't think i said that but he uh he just opened like last week and so like it's just been so much fun like especially i think being with like all my friends Uh is what's making it i'm sure really fun like and plus you're not you're not taking it so seriously you're you're being serious obviously at the time but you're not taking it so seriously so um it's just been, he's like, whenever you want to help out, like, just let me know. I was like, okay, like. And as you get older, you, you, you can handle things better. You, yeah. You, and you look at people differently than you did when you were waiting on them. Now you're just interacting with them. And yeah, yeah. You're, help, and you're so, helping out, you know, it's yeah. different. It's just, I, I am a very, like, people person. I yeah. love talking like to people. Tell. Like, <laughs> I, I talk a lot. It's okay. But, uh, I'm chatty Kathy, too, don't chatty worry. Chatty Kathy. Yeah, it just. It's been fun, so um, if you guys ever want to go there, let me know. I can let them know. And we don't need to. We, we can just yeah, go. We'll support. Yeah, Hopefully we'll just go. Yeah, yeah. support the public, right? Yeah, so. Even um, Chaldeans? They welcome Chaldeans? Yeah, well, okay. so it's two owners. It's like my, yeah, no, they're kidding. Chaldean and Macedonian, so. Who's the Chaldean? His name is Brandon. Brandon. Gorgies. Brandon, okay. Yeah. We're going to come check you out, Brandon. Brandon and yeah. Goron. I mean, I mean so. we would have already checked you out by the time this airs. Yep. We yeah, might come there. We might go there right after this. <clears throat> I'm starving. 
Yeah, I'll be there later today. I'm oh, going to cool. help them out. So you can guess. Let me know. So, I just don't want any of those fancy fries. The fancy fries. I guess like that's what they think like seasoned fries are. But. <laughs> So before we get to closing, is there anything that we may have missed about your career? Are there things that you offer or uh, that wanted to you want to mention to us? Put out there. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I like. Check out the JulieQ.com. The JulieQ.com. Um, yep. I don't know. I like I said. I I I want to be more open with our community and do things like that. Um, cool. And yeah. You got you got us firsthand, right? To be able yeah, to start. So you guys are let's, really nice. I know well, it's been. Go ahead. A long time. Like, I've just, I feel so bad because, like, you, like, wanted to do, like, an interview a while yeah, ago. And I'm like, yeah. oh, my God. Like, my schedules have just been so crazy. Well, I'm glad we got you now because that interview back then probably would have sucked. This one was, so much that, and this more, one was yeah. awesome. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. happy. So thank instead of, uh, instead of being on Jimmy Fallon, why don't you set a new goal to replace Jimmy Fallon? Oh, <laughs> there you go, maybe. Who needs to be on Jimmy Fallon when they can replace them? <laughs> I always said, like, that was, like, one of my life goals. Like, I uh, one was, like, to be on, like, interviewed by him. And I actually went to one of his tapings before. Oh, did you? In New York. So much fun. If you have ever get the chance to do that. Like, my friends and I went. It was so much fun. Um, like, to be a guest on there. And another one is, like, to be, like, on a Lifetime movie. Lifetime? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why. I think that'd be fun. Also, like, just to travel and do more stuff with my sister and... It's cool. Sounds soon. like a really Hello, cool relationship know, with yeah. you and your sister. Yeah, she's she's a fun, fun time. So we close out each show with a question, and the question is, what does it mean to you to be Chaldean? Um, to a be, sigh. A sigh. Uh, <laughs> for me, being Chaldean, it's it's so interesting. I, I love our culture. I love our music. I love our mm-hmm. food. To be Chaldean, it's, it's different. Like, embrace it. I mm-hmm. guess embrace your... When I was younger, I'm going to be honest, I I didn't like being it's Middle Eastern. Yeah. Like, I was that kid in, in elementary school. Like, I was in Arizona. I was, like, the only Middle Eastern person right. in Arizona. Like, growing up in yeah, Arizona sure. at that, like, years ago, there was no Chaldeans. Yeah. No. I was, that time. we were, like, one of the only Chaldean families, like, in the area. So, like, growing up, I just, I hated it. Mm-hmm. I was, like, I got picked on because I was hairy. Like, I had kids <laughs> who threw razors at me on the bus telling me to go oh, shave my arms. Oh, like, like, yeah, like, kids were, like, so brutal. And I'm just, like, I don't like this. But, like, I guess growing up and coming here and seeing my community, it kind of, I guess, like, made it more positive for me. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I noticed, I'm like, okay, there's other Chaldeans. There's other people who, like, right. went through the same things as me. Yep. Who had, like, the unibrow until they were, like, 13. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. 16. So, 16, oh. <laughs> Mom started finally taking care of me. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess just, like, the community and um, embrace it. Like, yeah. I guess that's the thing, if I could cool. say one thing. And embrace it, document your loved ones. and Document your loved ones. Yep. That's, that's the key. Yeah, so... Cool. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thank you, guys. No. We, can't, we can't wait to watch more of your journeys. Yep. Oh. I'm a foodie, too, so I'll be happy to watch that, definitely, that part <laughs> of it. And if you ever need anybody to try any food out, you're welcome to just tell I'm me like, where hey to. Okay, guys. Yeah, yeah, tell Anthony that where Let's, to be at. We'll definitely come definitely, do. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you cool. guys for having me. All right, thanks awesome. for coming on. That's awesome. Cool. Thank you. Cool. Well, just before we go, make sure you guys subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, again, just search Keeping Up with the Chaldeans. You'll definitely find it there. And hit the like button right there and make sure that you follow all the journeys that we got for you. I'm signing off. I'm Junior Bindu along with Anthony Toma. And we got the famous Julia Q here today. We'll see you guys all in the next episode. Enjoy.